Yeah, no, it was this. Or no, Chris Eccleston wasn't Ronan. He was the Dark Elf from Thor Two. Hey, Ronan is from Guardians, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not my least favorite. Oh, I thought you. I, I thought you didn't like the blue, like Ronan, the dude that was the bad guy in Guardians One. No, I didn't like the final like boss fight thing where it was like you, me, dance off. I mean, that's I their like style. That. I mean, I don't know. It, I, it's dumb. I'm not going to lie to you. It's dumb. But. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, that's, yeah, I mean, I, it just didn't, I didn't like it. <laughs> For some reason, I thought he was your least favorite Marvel villain because like your whole no. thing of, oh, they're bad because they're bad. He was one of those guys. Yeah. I mean, he was, yeah, I mean, he pretty much fits that mold, but at least the rest of the movie was pretty pretty good in guardians the chris eccleston's character from the dark world thor dark world was probably my least favorite they could have made that one so cool though yeah I'll, mainly because that entire movie was really bad yeah also we just kind of started on a slight spoiler saying ronin's in that movie but i mean it doesn't really matter it's not a real no it doesn't do anything also guys um this is better than static Welcome to this week's episode. I'm your host, Tyler, and with me today, most of the time, they're always here, um, and one doesn't have a headset, so we're going to keep going with uh, Roland. It doesn't matter. Um, his name's Lucas. Say hey, Lucas. Yeah. Hey, I'm the one without a headset. <laughs> but it still sounds okay. Just comment and say, Lucas, you did such a great job of not moving in your bed because it sounds like an earthquake when he does that. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's preemptive thinking you because I really hope you don't. <laughs> I'll be sure to do it at least twice. Oh my gosh! If you do, we're gonna punch you. And our other, our other friend that is always, almost every time here, um, is Chris. Say hey, Chris. Ni hao. See that? Okay, so you did Kenichi while that one time with Jordan, and I couldn't hear you because the mic cut out. That one I understand because your mic didn't cut out, so I know hellos. And that one is that Chinese? I didn't say it. I didn't. Is that what? Is ni hao Chinese? Well, I didn't say it correctly. I didn't say it with the right tone, but. Yeah. What's the right tone? That's more like ni hao. How'd you say it? I went like ni hao. Like I didn't. You like, like Kentucky fight it. There's like okay, I'm gonna get real nerdy on you. There's like there's four tones in Mandarin, um, that can affect a, a word or a sentence. So you have your up tone. You have like a a tone that's like well up and down. You have a flat tone, and then you have a downward tone. So depending on which way you inflect on your word. It could give the entire sentence or word a different meaning. Nice. The more I remember you, that. So. I, I want to. I want to put the sound effect of like the star going across the screen says the more you know, but I'm probably not gonna, um, <laughs> just because I'm lazy. Um, there we go. Lucas got it. <laughs> um, Even though that's not the right noise, but I mean, it's, it's more I like da, 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 da. that's what okay. it is. Um, so now I don't even have to do it because we just did two different ones and they both work. Um, but we were talking about a little bit about Captain Marvel at the beginning. Um, like vaguely we were talking about it. Um, we're not going to talk about that this week because we can't do spoilers and not all of us have seen it. And like, I don't know. It was okay. Don't hate me or do. I don't care. Um, I have one question. <laughs> What's that? Just one question. This may make me go see it or not. Okay, so no pressure. Does it rely too heavily on it being set in the 90s? I don't think so. No. Like, your music has some 90s. Like, like you know, like, there's Kurt Cobain music. So I'm like, yeah, I like that because I like, I like Nirvana and stuff like that. But it's not like, oh, we're in the 90s, so everybody's going to wear grunge. At one okay. point, Captain Marvel wears grunge, but, like, that was, like, what her style was before she was Captain Marvel, so... Okay. Well, I just in, know. In, in in that defense, that was the top. That was the type of clothing that was worn back then. It's not like, right. Like if that's okay, but like I know in the trailer, it showed her falling through the sky and crashed through a building, and it panned down, and it was blockbuster, and then it was like a slow zoom into blockbuster, and it's like, I get it. It was it's blockbuster. I it think was there's a 90s like thing. <laughs> there's two. I think there's two references like that one. That one, and then and another they, one. They both happen pretty much at the same time. Yeah, so it's not okay. like it's going to like ruin the whole movie for you. Um, oh, it ruined the whole trailer for me. <laughs> well, like, okay, so that was like 30 seconds of a two-minute trailer. It's like, that's a lot. That's a lot to put in there. Um, True. 
No, it, it it's more uh it it doesn't rely on that. Um, like Guardians relies on it heavily on the music, but this one's not even that heavy on the music. So it, like it, wow. like it, there is music, but it's not like you know like as in your face as. Yeah. There's right? that one. Yeah, well, the I mean, one. There's the Guardians. The, one. the Guardians music played into. Uh, whatever the main character star lord's uh like background yeah like that's all he had from his his mom mother yeah so that's why he i mean that's why he held so dearly on to that music so it made sense why that music was there so like the music probably won't bother me i enjoy 90s music but i just didn't want it to be like oh remember this remember this remember this kind of stuff yeah yeah that gets on my nerves there, I don't think you'd like it because there's a lot of there's a lot of joking. Yeah, I, I don't because well, here's the thing about Captain Marvel: she's not supposed to be jokey, like she's supposed to be kind of stern, which is also how Star Lord was in the comics too. Before the Guardians movie came out, like they're supposed to be like captains, you know, like army people, like have military background kind of things. Um, and that's not the case. And I don't, I, I, it's fine, it's fine because these are kids' movies. I don't know. It's not my favorite thing, but it's not going to ruin the whole movie for me. But anyways, how have your, how's your all's weeks been? <clears throat> Y'all had good uh, weeks? Sure. Yeah, it's been, I didn't, it's been pretty good. Yeah, okay. I just going to work, coming home. No no stories this week? Uh, I, I don't know, I'm... I mean, the dude that I've talked about a couple times is still kind of, like, odd in that way. But, like, I just I just, I just, I just can't get a read on him. Like, you don't know if he's, like, doing it to be, like, weird or if he's, like, just that weird? No, he, no he's weird. No, he's legit weird. It's just, I just, it's just, yeah. Well, you know, like, you have those people that, like, just try to be different. And then, like, there's those people that just, they're different. You know what I mean? He's just a little weird, I guess. I mean, I just. It's confusing. <laughs> no, we have like okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna <clears throat> gonna hopefully nobody that I work with listens to this too carefully. I know a couple people are, but I've already told them this story. One of my least favorite people from my past work came into my office and sat for three hours and it was awful. And it was on Friday and it was just bad. Like I just <laughs> it was it it's a guy that, like, his personality is, I'm going to be a dick, and then expects everybody to like him. And I'm a dick, but I'm at least funny okay, you're about using it. Some, you're using some verbiage. You're using some words here, my man. Well, it's how I describe the people. Do you, Would you rather me use douchebag? Yeah, kind of. Okay, this guy's a douchebag. Which I'm a douchebag, but it's all to make, like, it's like, I'm not actually being that. It's like, oh, you're. it's like just me, like, that's my sense of humor this guy's actually a douchebag and then expects people to like him and it's so frustrating because <laughs> he's like because like he comes into my like in our office he goes hey hey useless where's your uh stapler and i'm like i don't have a stapler because i'm gonna work for the state and they don't give everybody staplers there's a stapler over there he's like wow you're so useless and then he like comes into my cubicle and is like oh hey do you not like do you like you're not happy to see me and i'm like you just freaking called me useless. Why would I? Why would I be happy to see you? Well, he's basically Todd Packer from The Office. Yeah. No, he's worse than Todd Packer from The Office because I watched that episode yesterday with my girlfriend. Like it. it oh wow! Way to brag about it. Wow. I wasn't bragging. I'm telling you what <laughs> happened. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh my gosh, Chris. Is it? That? Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, I'm just gonna. I'll start saying Samantha <laughs> instead of my girlfriend. Or you should, I was just watching that episode of The Office yesterday. Well, I, are we are we going to be honest or not on this on this podcast, Chris? Uh, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Anyways, watch that episode and like Todd Packard's at least kind of funny. I don't know, like I feel like Todd Packard's between my my sense of humor and then this guy's personality, like of being a d bag. <laughs> But, like, who comes into their office and says, hey, useless, where's your uh, stapler? And then, like, and then sits for there for three hours talking to my supervisor. Like, so what's, 
it was just it blew my mind that everybody decides to park in my office like my little cubicle when there's a whole freaking building and my boss has a like an office four times the size of mine <laughs> like why would they park it in mine because then i'm stuck because i can't leave my cubicle <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I didn't know this was going to upset you so much. No, yeah. it was... Well, Lucas knows how I am. Like, people in my room, like, it just kind of hurts the pee <laughs> Mom, out of me. get out of my room. <laughs> yeah. No, like, it's just like, if I'm doing stuff, or, like, I just... I'm not in there, don't go in my room. Yeah. Like, if I'm in there, and, like, I'm not really busy, I'm just, like, hanging out, it's cool to come in and, like, talk, but don't, like... If I'm not in there, don't go in it. It's like, that's my that's yeah. my sanctum. So, after when after I graduated college, Kirby was still there for one year, and he was living in a house with three other guys. And uh, one day while I was over there, he was watching TV with somebody on the couch, and oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I know this story. Uh, so me and two of the other guys, we like to mess with Kirby because it's funny. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not. In situations, whatever, he can't react to it because it all just kind of builds up. So uh, we just went and hung out in his room for like an hour <laughs> while he was there on the couch not being able to do anything. <laughs> And we just messed with stuff in his room. And he, I just we I took can't. the lock off his door. We, uh, well, we didn't do anything like devastating to it or anything. We just did some little things. And every now and then we'd look out the door and we could just see Kirby side eyeing us like through the. <laughs> I was so pissed. <laughs> it was so funny because he couldn't react to it. I just, it's like. I don't know. It's I have thing like and like I when I was in college, my room was absolutely a, like a mess. But like things had their place, and I'm like, do not, do not touch that, do not move that, and then they'd move it. <laughs> <laughs> but now, like I'm still like that. It's just like my room's not as a mess now. And then my office, like everything has a place. Also, there's one chair or two chairs, one for like if. Because I have this guy that helps me design stuff because I don't know everything because I'm really bad at it. But I have fun doing it. Um, but, like, my boss sat in that chair and behind me. Well, I'm still working like because my boss is in my cubicle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you got to look like you're busy. <laughs> but I was actually busy because I'm trying to schedule a well decommissioning on a project, which is completely – doesn't matter to you guys. But And then, like, that guy, like, the D-bag guy was sitting on my table that where all my files were. Cause I have like this like file rack, and he's like he's like just going on the through. Table? Yeah, cause I don't have a filing cabinet. It's like like it's like oh, a. Cause he sit on that. Huh? I'm no I'm. It's not that you're storing your files on a table. It's that he's sitting on the table. Yeah, like and I'm like, no, please don't. Um, and then like they just sit there and talk for three hours, and through that conversation, I'm trying to work, and then like the D bag guy's like, hey, useless, you're not happy to see me. I'm like. No. I'd be like, I would be happy to see, you know, you... heroin in my vein or something. I don't know. I'd be happier to see you slip and fall. Ooh, got it. Well, I can't say certain <laughs> things I want to say on this podcast, or Lucas, so. I don't know. I can't say, oh, I'd hope you get hit by a truck, you know. A Tonka truck. Uh -huh. Yeah, like <laughs> like a, a little kid in like the little drive-by, like the little plastic uh, drive around trucks. Oh, uh, it was just a drive by, man. Do what? I was like, "What are you talking about? A Tonka truck drive by?" For no, no, like not a drive by, like like the little kids drive around, like the ones that are like pedals. Like Lucas's nephew has one. Yeah. Um, but like, it was just it's it was so frustrating. Do y'all have like somebody that just irks the pee out of you? Like just yeah. Out? Is it me? Don't say me, please. Um. It depends on my mood who it is. Like, it, it really is it's situational to me. Sometimes it's sometimes it is you. Sometimes it's not you. Sometimes it's just people I see on social media that I know that I'm like, why are you this way? <laughs> so your dad? Like every, no, 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 no. It doesn't hurt me. It just it just makes me disappointed. 
<laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't like annoy me, in like a, like your their personality is like a it just a, crashes directly with mine. It's more of a, with him, it's more of like please stop embarrassing me. Type but, of thing. Well, I have like four people that just I can't stand. Like I can think of somebody that works with my mom that I'm not even in contact with her. But mom will tell me a story about her, and like I just, it just, it, it makes me just like, I wish I could be there one day for those stories, and I would just like put her in her place. Yeah, no, it's it's, I just it's hard to be. What's bad is like I have four people that do that to me, and like two of them I work with, and I it's tough. Um, but anyways, that's like I just it's. Do y'all how do you handle it? Do you just like let it bottle up or like yep. what? Because mine, I, I just I complain to somebody about it, and at this point, you guys are like the fourth and fifth people I've complained to, like complained about it to. <laughs> I bottle it up like nobody's business. I, I've gotten way more. I think this podcast has helped, <laughs> just being way more open with like how I feel because I can put things into word better, and also like. Where I'm doing, like, my New Year's resolution, I was right, like, stand-up bits. Which I don't know if I ever said that on the podcast. I think I said I was going to wear my glasses more for my New Year's resolution, which was dumb, looking back on that. But my actual... You're always wearing them. Like, on the show, I, like, if I'm at home, I'm wearing them. Um, but, like, if I'm out, I don't usually wear them. Um, you wore them at church, Wednesday. Wednesday? I did thought I? you did. Maybe you didn't. I don't know. Sorry. Move along. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I was thinking if I did. But like where I'm writing stand up bits, it's like I'm I, I want to write the joke down word for word to like where I can like change it if I need to. So like that's helping me put things into word better and sharing more. Um, But yeah, that's that's why I wanted to just put all that out there. <laughs> all that junk onto people, um, <laughs> which technically, depending on how many downloads this episode gets, I'm complaining to a lot more people than just two. Um, so sorry. There you go. Yeah. But anyways, back on the stand up comedy thing, I emailed um an open mic place near Lucas's home um and seen if I could get on the open mic list for a night coming up. Oh really? Yeah, so not so it's not comedy on Broadway. No, it's not. It's comedy off Broadway, Chris. God, get it together. It is comedy off Broadway, isn't it? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's I'll, I'll be doing I'm going to I'm going to try to get I emailed them. So like it says if you're interested, email this email. And I did and it's been like 2 days since I heard. So I don't know if they're just not going to answer or what. It's actually you actually emailed a Nigerian prince. <laughs> That's why my junk folder's been blowing up, I guess. <laughs> but there uh, you go. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, like, the person that, like, at my mom's work, she just, she tries to force herself into every conversation and situation. Like, it's the the nosiest person to, like, the thousandth degree. I, like if, I'm kind of like that, but it's like, I, I just hear words, I'm like, huh? I'm like, thinking, like, they were talking to me and I didn't hear them, and I was like, I needed to repeat myself. I'm really bad about that. But like, like she, like my mom sometimes would like go, goes to lunch with people, and like the other woman's not invited, so she, like somebody will come in and say, you know, Debbie ready to go, and the other woman's like, oh, I'm coming too. It's like, no, that, no, you're not. <laughs> that type of stuff is what makes me like just like, like, I think it's because it's the opposite of me. Like, unless I'm explicitly like invited to something, I'm not gonna. Like try to get myself in on a situation. Yeah. Like, I just, I, I, I just can't imagine wanting to butt in on stuff like that. Like, even if somebody's in a conversation that I'm interested in, I won't try to. I'll just stand off to the side. Tyler's seen me stand off to the side awkwardly in conversations millions of times. Yeah, and then I try to include Chris to make him feel less awkward, but it makes him feel more awkward. It's so uh, it's like it's me trying to be like, "All right, Chris, you're feeling awkward. Here, let's not feel awkward anymore." And I make it worse. <laughs> and I don't know how cuz I'm like, I killed the whole thing of Chris isn't included in the conversation. That's awkward. So I include Chris, and he's like, "That's more awkward. I don't understand it. I can't win." I do the same thing, Chris. 
<laughs> yeah, it happens a lot. It happened a lot Thursday night. We were volunteering at something at church, and like, there's five people. So like, and like my little and the people I was standing with. So like, two of them would start a conversation, and the other two would start a conversation, and there I am in the middle. Like, all right, I can't contribute to either of these conversations. Well, was I supposed to volunteer at that thing too? No. Okay. Good. I was afraid I missed it because. <laughs> Because of, you know why, I, I, you know. I don't. Well, like, you know how we had, like, this thing happen yesterday, and we had to avert that, and then I was afraid that I was supposed to do that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. No, you're good. Me and Chris had a fun conversation, and we used you as a scapegoat, Lucas. Oh, really? Yeah. Not a scapegoat, but more like a... Excuse. Uh, yeah, and it's like a like a lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As long as it works out for you, I don't really care. <laughs> we didn't blame you. We didn't blame you for something. We just used you as like a like a escape button. Yeah, you know, we're like, oh, was he it just... somebody that I know? Uh, no, you've probably <laughs> met him before. Maybe once, maybe. Yeah. I gotcha. But like, it was like. I don't know. We probably. I don't know that he'll ever hear this, but I'd also don't want to take that chance. So we're gonna yeah. skip over that. Yeah. So, for the reason you were talking about, Chris, being like two people breaking off into a conversation, you being kind of like left out in the middle. That's why I don't like going to lunch, like at work lunches and stuff, with a bunch of people, because then I go and sit there and eat quietly while everybody else talks, and it's just like. Uh, there's conversation going on over here and one over here. I don't know which one to get into, so well, I'm just going to sit here and eat. <laughs> well, like, okay, so Thursday night, it was there was like a fostering adoption little like event at church. And so it's after it's after it's over, and I'm helping out, so I'm at a table, like directing people and like answering the few questions I can answer, which basically involves, oh, I'm interested in adoption, and I point it. Couple, and I point at people that have adopted children and say, you need to talk to them, basically. And I bet, you, I bet you did such a great job, Chris. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You just what? skipped over that compliment I said. Well, because I, I mean, I just tell people, hey, they, you know, they adopted kids. They foster kids. You should talk to them. And I said, I That's bet true. you were super helpful and you did a great job. Yeah. And he knew he was, so he just moved on. <laughs> <laughs> and so I... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, go ahead, Chris. Yeah, so two of the people that were helping with us are married and they're having a baby. And so a lot of people want to talk to them. So I, obviously I can't get into that conversation because I know nothing about I know nothing about babies or pregnancy or anything. So that's you just shock you just cut your losses on that one. But I think that you read the situation well. Of like I don't know anything about that, therefore I'm not going to partake. No. And then, like, the other people were, like, a, could I answer questions about adoption? And so, in, like, supporting adoptive parents, so I'm like, I really can't contribute to that conversation. So, I guess I'll just stand here awkwardly and eat this cookie. But, was, by know. not taking part in, in those conversations, it was probably made you more approachable for people that were wanting to ask, like, hey, where is somebody, like, you know what I mean? Well, it was probably helpful that you. I mean, didn't. It, it could have been worse. Like I know, like I don't know if I've, I can say. I, oh, there's a funny story that happened to somebody else that night, but like I don't know if I have like the permission to say the story, so I won't. Yeah, no, that's probably smart. Because they've listened to this podcast before, so I don't know. <laughs> I want to hear this afterwards if that's cool. Like after we yeah. record, they so, enjoyed the one they listened to. So. Oh, I do know who it is now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyways, yeah, no, uh, if I, and I, let me just say, if it would have happened to me, I would have gotten up and I would have left. I would have went home. <laughs> I want to, I want to guess and see what the situation, like, this is my one guess. I, I'm not going to keep guessing of what happened to them. Well, I'm not going to say who it is. So no, 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 no. I already know who it is by what you, what you've already told me. Um, what I want to guess is what happened. And okay. bec- this is just, I'm going to take one I guess. And if I, just- and if, if, I, if I'm wrong, we have to carry on. Don't let me keep guessing, okay? Um, 
somebody was overweight and they asked if they were pregnant? No. Oh, dang it. I thought I was right. Can, uh, here's here's my one guess. They thought they were up for adoption. Ooh, no, that would be awful. But no. <laughs> that was a complete joke. I have no idea who you're talking about. So. <laughs> well, Chris will inform. Hopefully, Chris will inform us after the episode. I will. But, yeah. Um. It just sucks. Like, oh. Well, like any time. Like so, yesterday. I went. To, I took Samantha to dinner before we went to the movie. Before I went to see Captain Marvel with Greg and Robbie, and we were walking in, and I could have swore I saw one of my middle school teachers, and her husband, that I've I've known for a long time, and well, also because it's been a long time since I've been in middle school, but like actually known them before I was in middle school. Anyways, we're walking in. They're coming out as we're going in, and I look and I go, "Hey, Miss So and So." Um, and it was not Miss So and So, and we just I just kept walking. <laughs> Took it like a freaking champ, though. <laughs> See, I'm never I'm never gonna do that unless I know for certain it's them. Well, I that's one of my worst fears is is saying hi to somebody that's not who it is. I just ugh. Like if somebody else says hi to me, I can find. I'm never gonna do that myself. Well, I could have like. Here's the thing. Through the tinted door at Cheddar's, I was 100% sure, yeah, that's Miss So-and-So, my 8th grade English teacher, and her husband that I, like, volunteered in his classroom occasionally for another class. Like, I'm like, that's them. I know for a fact it's them. They open the door, hey, not them. Isn't that the one with a twin, though? No, 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 no. Um... Uh... I can't... She taught, like, social oh, studies. never mind, never mind, never yeah, mind. Yeah, she taught mind. social studies. Um, my, like, uh, elite team English teacher, eighth grade year, which you guys probably don't know because you weren't on elite team. Because no. we're the best. Yeah, we're, Ultra we're the is team. awful. Ultra, Ultra crap. <laughs> 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 Did you know we were the only team in eighth grade not to go on a field trip? Yeah. yeah. I know Lucas knows. Yeah. No, I heard, I heard profusely because you guys told me. It sucked. It was yeah, worse. it was awful. We were with the Peanuts Gallery, man. It was like... <laughs> Me and Lucas were like Batman and Superman. Like, and everybody else was like freaking. Yeah, what? they were like the Didn't Wonder like Twins. Half that class fell, or half that team fell, or something like that. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, it was something crazy. It was, it was not it's, a fun. It was year. so bad that the only class I looked forward to was Algebra One. Oh yeah. my gosh! And that was like the meanest <laughs> teacher you guys had. No, she Just was the coolest. Everybody I knew was in that class. Oh, yeah. oh! So like that was the only class you had with your friends on that team? Oh my gosh! Yes. Yeah. Um, it could have been worse. No, I don't. I, there could have been conjugals in one of your classes. So. What? There was some actions in a class somebody on my team. Your class. What'd you say, Lucas? <laughs> I said somebody get it on in one of your classes. Basically. It was weird. Have well, I never heard this? It wasn't in my class. So, like, here's my my algebra one teacher was like the team leader for my eighth grade. Like, because like, all right, what's weird is I think I don't think anybody knows how like eighth grade teams work. But like, you have three different teams in eighth grade, also seventh and sixth grade, and then like that's what you're like you stay in like a little pod of people for like eighth grade year. <clears throat> well, I was in one class. Well, the next class next door is going on. And my my teacher that I had at the moment was the team leader, so like everybody had to run stuff through her, I guess. I don't know how that worked. And I sat by the door. Well, teacher that was in the room next to us came and like called my teacher out of class, and they were talking. And I heard some stuff I wish I hadn't heard as an eighth grader. Um, but it went down while she was teaching in the next room. It went down while she was teaching. Okay, how unobservant do you have to be to let that go unnoticed for at least any period of time? I don't. Here's the thing. I've never taught. They were also sitting in the back, so I don't know how hard it was that like to see. And also, okay. you can't be like I can't imagine as a teacher that you would expect that to happen and be like actively looking for something. Yeah, like yeah, that. exactly. Like you're not like your threat goggles aren't on. Of oh, where's that? What's happening? <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm teaching. Uh, okay, pay attention. So I've to always me. got my threat goggles on, so I guess that's probably. <laughs> Yeah, but you're wow. never gonna expect to see that. So like anything that looks close to that, you're like, that's not that. That's not that. And then and then you go back there and investigate, and it is that. 
I probably quit teaching that day. <laughs> <laughs> like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to keep teaching. Y'all are, y'all are heathens. I'd be like, y'all wilding out. Y'all, y'all just need heathens. to stop that. I'm gonna send you to like freaking the zoo, dude. Yeah. And straight, and who? Like I just, it was, it was animalistic and awful. Jesus, that was a way. That's one way to say it. Good lord. Yeah. I mean, that's one reason why I never wanted to teach was that as as I was growing up, I could see how terrible kids were. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were well, we we weren't that bad, but we talked a lot. Like I talked yeah. a lot in class. There was this point where I stopped. I remember, and I was very young. I got in trouble for talking all the time. And then I don't know what point it was. I just decided to not do that. And then yeah. I became the guy that tried to shush everybody else. Yeah, Chris was legit the person. Who, he would turn around and go, shh. <laughs> he was that guy. Which is not bad. You always need that guy. Cause, like, it got on gonna... my nerves. Okay, like, I don't know what. Well, guess what, Chris? That got all on my nerves. It got on all of them. Well, like, I'm like, I'm trying to say, to... just be quiet. Because. One, if they're talking and the teacher gets mad, then she's going to yell, and then that makes me uncomfortable. So, like, just shut up. You're I know. Just, I can understand just, that. I can understand that. Like, just you're just making it harder on everybody else. We're not going on a field trip anyway, so just. Right. <laughs> so, might as well just make hey, it miserable. got to go to Dairy Queen. <laughs> yeah, the good kids got to go to Dairy Queen. Do y'all, yeah. do y'all, did y'all go on the field trip our sophomore year? When, like, they went to the, like, the camp, like, the Levi Jackson campground or whatever? Or, like, 4-H camp? I don't I think, think so. Did. Or wait, y'all were in AP Bio, so you didn't get to you didn't do that one. Okay. So like that, I, was, that was when I had my knee surgery, and I felt like such a bad kid because I didn't get to go because like I was on crutches and I didn't like I didn't want to go through mud and stuff on crutches. Um, <laughs> but like my mom. Why did they make you feel like a bad kid? Because like the only other people that had to stay behind that trip were bad kids, Chris, or at least in my oh. mind they were. It's like getting it. You feel like you're in detention. Kind of, yeah. I was like, I feel so uncomfortable because I don't know anybody here. Did I even go on a field trip in high school? I guarantee you did, because I'm pretty sure we went on one together. Where? Wait, wait, hold on. Is Beta Club counted as a field trip? I don't think so, since that's after hours. Um, that was a weekend, so I don't think it was. Yeah, I went on some FFA field trips. I went on a Unite Club field trip. Didn't we go to like Shallows or something like that? That was like senior year, right? Yeah. Okay, are you talking about when we went to Rupp Arena for good attendance or something? I don't know. I never had good attendance. Uh, I never, I never had a field trip for good attendance. No, no, no. It was like the, it was like right before the end of school, senior year. The principal took us on a bus to Lexington. We ate at Olive Garden. That no. wasn't. Oh, I did get to go on that. I don't know how I had I good attendance go enough to go that. on that. No, that wasn't a field trip because that was after hours. Was it? We left during school hours, but we didn't get back till after school hours. Oh. Which was ironic because they took the kids with like good attendance out of school. Yeah, I think that's the why we did it because that's cool. <laughs> yeah. But like, didn't didn't one of our friends get up on stage and almost win a car? Is that the yes. trip you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. And we 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 all lost it when he got called up. We're like, oh heck, yeah. we like we go crazy. And he picked so he had like pick it. He got the first like the so he got up on stage and he made it through the first cut, I think. And then he picked the wrong key to open the car on the last one. I think is how it went. And we were all devastated. It's like our team was in the Super Bowl and we were super invested. And then they lost, and we were all just like, no, and we wanted to ride through the city. Um, I think that's most people understand how. Losing the Super Bowl works. It was. I, I appreciate the explanation, though. Like I thought, I thought I painted a really good picture of that. It's a real life modern day Van Gogh over here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's my goal. Confused. I remember I, I had an opportunity to go on a field trip, and like because they were going to go to like the the Toyota plant, but then. Uh, the, the it was the ACT day and the seniors got to just chill out in the gym and goof off. I was like, I'd rather do that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to like, I don't know. the The Toyota factory does not like say, oh yeah, that's super fun. It says, well, like I, I could... didn't know as many people on that trip. Either, oh yeah, so. yeah. I don't even remember that trip. So you must have been like super, <laughs> super different. 
I don't remember it happening either. No, I got invited on that trip. Oh, gotcha. It wasn't. I, I wasn't. It was. For, it was. Uh, McC- uh, the ag teacher took took people on that trip. Huh. And I and I don't know how I even got almost invited on that trip anyway. Also, I was in FFA, and how did I not get invited to that trip? I don't know. I don't. I mean, I'm the least farm dude that ever lived. They're like, we're <laughs> gonna farmify you. But yeah, I don't I'd think that's a word yeah. though. We're gonna aggregate you. Or aggregate. <laughs> that's a, mm. Ag- agricult. Ooh, if you had a farm cult, you could call it an agricult. Sorry, <laughs> that's what I, FFA is. It's the agricult of high school. <laughs> um, crap. Oh yeah. D- okay. So I had that class where I went out to elementary schools and taught. Is that like is that field trips? Were those field trips or was that just? <clears throat> I think those since those are specific for the class. Like those are those are like graded, right? Yeah, they were great. That's what my grade came from. I don't think that's a field trip, but that's where I okay. So I knew, so I knew the 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 husband of like the people I thought I saw at Cheddar's. That's how I knew him, because I taught his class a bunch, um, with that class. Because like that was the point of the class I'm talking about, where we went out. It was like you go out, you teach elementary school kids science lessons, and then you come back to school. Um, so I taught his class a lot for science lessons. Why isn't that lovely? Did you say lovely or lovely? It sounded like you said lovely. I meant lovely, but my brain farted. <laughs> what? I, what? Okay, so if you did say like, so if lovely is like, it's very novel, like, is what I feel like that word would mean. It's like no, a good novel, story. That novel word means that. Novelly, yeah. Novelly, no, no, no. It's novel. Novelly, yeah. It's novel, like. No. Mo- oh my gosh. <laughs> so the word novel can mean something interesting or unique it's not just the word for a book i'm aware but what i want it the word to mean but it's not novelty is not a word though but if it was a word i would want it to mean it was like you told a great story novelty that's a horrible word why because but it sounds like it just it's, it just sounds like a belly button. No, that's navely. <laughs> navely is that looks like a belly button. That no, like that you, you see that button over there? That's very nose. navely. What did you say, Lucas? That's whenever you speak too much out of your nose. You know, nasally. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, navely is like if it looks like a belly button. You're like that's real navely. No, that's when you're on the ocean. Okay, so it has multiple meanings. Also, pharmify is a word. We're just going to make a whole new dictionary in thesaurus this episode. <laughs> okay, so you looked up pharmify. No, I said pharmify earlier. Um, I've not actually looked it up. Oh, I thought you looked it up and said it was a word. I was like, you've got to be kidding No, I, I made fun of myself because like, we were like, they're going to pharmify you. And then you, we did the agricult thing, which I think should be a thing. I think anything that is a farming-based cult is an agricult. Um and if you want to dispute that, we will fight and throw down. Oh, I love how angry you're getting about this. No, I'm just... Farmify is a website. <laughs> it's a it's a company. What do they do? Uh, hold on, I'm going to the website. <laughs> Careful. Farmifyonly.com. <laughs> it well, from the description, it looked like they connect. Sellers with buyers. I that's boring. Like, yeah, that's not what I thought it was. I thought it was like people that want to be on farmers only. They're like, man, I'm not farmer enough for that. So they go to yeah, farmify.com. So they go through like a or special a training course. Yeah, exactly. Farmify was going to be like the opposite of urbanization. Ooh, that's actually good too. I like, <laughs> like that we're definition. Going to cities and we're turning them into farms. I feel like there are some cities that you could do that with though, because they don't produce anything anymore. So you're like, well, we're just going to turn this into farmland. Jeez. Well, am I wrong, Chris? People still live there, Tyler. Like, where are you going to put them? Uh, they can build smaller homes and farm the land. Okay, I'm at the okay at the risk of nerding out over socioeconomics. Okay, okay. So, a lot of these people in these big cities, Tyler, if there's no industry, they're poor, right? Yeah. So they can be they're farmers. already in. They're already in small homes. You can't put them in smaller homes. Well, you could keep the apartment complexes they're in, or whatever, like the apart, like the 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 housing they're in, and just put fields where the roads go, 
and you just farm the. Where are they like, going to drive? How are they going to go places? If they're poor, they probably don't have a car. Most people still have a car. I I I I don't think I don't know. I don't think that's true. You'd be surprised. I know where I work. Not a lot of people have cars, and they walk a lot of places. So in these farmified cities, they can also walk a lot of places. They just siphon the fuel from the car they have for a tractor to plow the fields they're going to plow. Man, I'm so glad you're not an elected official. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> if, I, if, I ever, if I ever get like nominated, somebody's going to find this episode and be like, this is his whole plan. Do not yeah, let him get I'm in gonna, office. I'm going to be the one to do that. <laughs> Chris will be my people. saboteur for like running oh, for office. <laughs> no, nah, I could get a lot of votes. Mm. Well, it depends on what like what I'm running for. Like, I don't know. Maybe like PTA member. I think I could get a lot of votes. President well, probably not a lot. I don't. No, you don't you have don't. to run for PTA, by the way. You don't. I thought you had to like. Or what's is there like a PTA board or something? I mean, P. I think the teachers. Oh, I would ask my mom, but of course it was PTO at our school. But I don't school. remember what it is. I was mom not was, a parent at that time in my mom life. And dad, mom and dad were like president and treasurer of PTO at my elementary school. So. Yeah, and they had to run and get elected, right? I don't know. I was a, I was five. <laughs> all I knew is that I got to stay after school all the time and do cool stuff with my friends. I got to do cool stuff with my cool friends. I had to run around the school and goof off for like for three hours. We so did that like, after whatever. academic team practice, too. And I stayed at the school. Okay, like in, in reality, like, so when we had the school carnival... Since since my parents were like basically in charge of it, I had to stay afterwards. And in my head, like I know I'm misremembering it. In my head, I'm like, oh, we stayed till like probably like one in the morning. We probably got home like at ten because <laughs> I was like six. So I thought, man, gosh, I'm up so late, and I feel so cool. I bet it was like ten o'clock. So last night was the first night I got home after like one o'clock in like forever. And it's because we went to the 10 o'clock showing of Captain Marvel. Like the last time I got home after one, I don't actually remember. I think I actually know. Bangladesh. What? What time of day did you get home from Bangladesh? At like four in the morning. Ah, there you go. But, like, I slept at one point on the plane, so does that make it like I, I just woke up early? You said you got home after 1 a.m. You didn't say, you didn't mention you're sleeping. But, like, I didn't sleep before this one. So, like, it's the sleeping restart it, and I just, like, got there really early? No. No, you napped on the plane. I mean, Maybe. Nobody sleeps on a plane. Everyone naps on a plane. When I flew to, like, when we were going to Bangladesh, the plane from D.C. to Istanbul, I had to actually get eight hours of sleep. I couldn't have. I I literally could not have. But what was crazy about the trip, and I don't know if I've ever said this story on the the podcast, but, like, I sat by, like, a a guy my size, but Italian. It's great. It was a great experience, though, by the way. Mario? No. I actually, I think it was Ricardo. Ricardo? Yeah. That's a Hispanic name. What's the Italian version of Ricardo? Ricardo. Yeah, it was, it was that one. Um, <laughs> that was his name. Uh, Ricardio? I don't know. It was Ricardio? I, well, you said Mario. I don't know. I'm just no, to... that's Lucario. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Ricardio <laughs> is a dude that just loves to go to the gym and run. Well, anyways, his name, I, like, his name in English was Richard. I'm surprised that you talked to this dude on a plane because I wouldn't. I would never. Well, it was super awkward because two of the biggest guys on the plane sat by each other. So we were, he like he sat down. And he goes, this is gonna be awful. I said, Yeah, I know. It's true. It's true. What's true? It's true. I remember when I flew back from Los Angeles. I was I was a hefty I was hefty boy at that moment. <laughs> I was hefty lad. Said, I was thick boy at that moment and. The dude sitting next to me was also large, so that was no. That it's was like tough. awkward. It's like everybody doesn't address the elephant in the room that the two biggest that guys. That was the elephant. Yeah, no, same. Um, but like Richard sits down because I can't remember how to say it in Italian. Um, whatever. The, it's very good to see you. He was like, "Oh, this is gonna suck," and I'm like, "Yeah, you right." Um, but we're gonna make it through. 
when he walked around to the pizza mini game music from Spider Man Two video game. Play. I I wish um, he didn't really like have music theme music. He was he was fairly like you could tell this guy had culture because he had a nice watch on and he was going for business. And I'm like, this guy's cool. This guy's got life figured out, and I'm still in college, sophomore in college. Um, <clears throat> and, like, I was wearing, like, cargo pants and, like, a polo. Okay, if I was if I was ever in first class, I'm just going to wear the rattiest clothes I can. I wasn't in first class. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you just mentioned he was dressed nice, business. I'm just thinking, like, if I'm ever in first class in my life, I'm wearing sweatpants. Well, yeah, because you can sleep there. They have, like, lay-down seats, basically. No. Because all those other people in the, in first class like were wearing suits and stuff, and they're gonna look at me funny. I'm like, what? I bet I'm way cooler than you ever th- or hope to be. Well, my whole thing is like, why would you travel in a suit? Like, are you like That's as soon as you as soon as you step off of the plane, are you like going to a meeting? No, you're probably gonna go to a hotel. Then you can change into your suit. I know you might not have time. You might have to go straight to the. Like that, I think it. that's the only, like, if, if it is that dire, that's when you travel in a suit. But I, I'm never that, like, also I never have to wear a suit unless I go to a wedding. And, like, I would, I don't know. I feel like I'd plan ahead, like, I'm going to get there a day before. But, um. Yeah, nobody's going to chance a flight the day of the wedding. Well, no, no, not like, not like my wedding, like somebody else's wedding. Like, I got invited to a wedding. I'm still not going to chance it, if it's even if it's somebody else's wedding. Well, you know how much I hate being late for anything, so. Yeah, I think I would chance it. But that's, also, I, I mean. crazy. Here's my thing about weddings. I only like the rehearsal because dancing and cake. You dance at the other one and get cake at the other one too, Tyler. Or not rehearsal. What's it at? The reception. Reception, not like, rehearsal. I was going to say, dude. Yeah, also if I was late for the uh, wedding, I would already miss the rehearsal. So that didn't make sense. But the reception is the well, only good part. the rehearsals the night before, yeah. Yeah. Um, so like... I only like your like your whole goal is to make it to the reception because that's where they actually know if you're there or not. Like they don't if you're if you miss the ceremony, they only know because you tell them. It's not any because you can still sign the book at the rehearsal or not the rehearsal the reception, and like I, you only want to show up for food, cake, and dancing. So like if I miss the ceremony, I'm fine. So I'm going to chance it. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to sit in that in in during that because here's the thing about weddings: if it's over ten minutes, I don't, it's not entertaining anymore. Lucas, you remember that wedding we had to hold the doors shut because of the wind? Yeah. That one lasted forever, it seemed like. <clears throat> yeah, and I couldn't even see it. <laughs> yeah, I know. They, they kicked us out. We were the ushers. They're like, you can't be in here. I'm like, what the frick? I'm like, why? <laughs> Darn yeah, camera ladies. To, yeah, we had to watch it. We had to take turns the watching it. In the door. We, we, we took turns watching it through a crack in like a temperate... It was outside, but they still wanted to have a door for some reason for them to walk through. Like, that's the... I love the friend that had us in his wedding, but that was the dumbest idea ever. Like, why have the door there? It's not like there were walls or anything. I, I just don't understand. Yeah. Man, also, I'm sorry, I wear a really a... short tie for that. Whole yeah, I know. It made me uncomfortable. <laughs> the only one I was ever in, I got to wear a clip-on bow tie, so I was good. We had the, clip on. Well, that like, one was a we had, clip on, like regular tie, and it was a made rental for regular hoth people. So it hit me above the belly button. Yeah, same. Me too. <laughs> and like, we didn't have vests or jackets because we were the ushers. So They're like, they don't need full full suits. They'll just use ties. And like, me, Luke, and Lucas all tried it on the night before. And we're like, this is super short. So we text our buddy that we're going to be in the wedding. Can we go buy another tie that's just these colors? He's like, no, nah, just wear those. And I'm like, I feel so dumb wearing this. Yeah. It was the... But the bachelor party for this guy was actually... Well, the version me and Luke went on was way cool. It was awesome. Yeah. The version Lucas went on, it was, was a little short. We drove to Chicago, went to a Cubs game slept that night until like we got back to the hotel room at like i mean pretty late yeah uh, well we we walked around downtown chicago we got like deep dish with you guys and stuff right like you know and we rode bikes around chicago and stuff like that and then we went back slept for like five hours and then drove back to lexington yeah <laughs> uh. in chicago all of like 
less than like 12 hours. While me and Luke flew up like five days early, actually went around Chicago, met up with them at the game, and then flew back that night to where we didn't have to drive and wake up early. Well, we still had to wake up early, I think, but like it was like I slept in the airport while we were waiting for our plane. It was awesome. Oh, Mr. Hotshot. Well, if Lucas didn't have to work, he would have came with us. It's not like it, like the expenses yeah. were the thing. It was just like we got me and the time. yeah, like me and Luke had just graduated college, had nothing to do. So he's like, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna do this, make it a trip." I'm like, "Heck yeah, we are. Let's do it." And I had just started a new job. Yeah, because Lucas graduated a year ahead time. of us. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was fun times. Um, but yeah, the end end logic of this is the reception is the only part of the wedding that's fun. Like, I assume if you're in the way, like, if you are, like, the ones getting married, like, I guess the whole thing's fun. I don't know. I've heard. Yeah, hor- I've probably heard- is nice. I don't know. I've heard horror stories of, like, people being miserable through their, like, wedding ceremony. And then I've also heard, like, really good things about it. For me, I'm just going to be like, I don't make decisions. I will agree with any decision you make, and I'm going to have a good time. Because yep. I, should, I shouldn't be planning things. Like, you guys know me. I should not have to plan. I'll be like, I'm just, uh, I'll be like, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Yeah, that's yeah. like that's going to be my whole... Like, I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be great. But I don't think I am sound enough in decorating or pl- event planning to be like... Color coordinating. Yeah, like stuff like... Like, I don't think I'm good enough at that for like people to run things by me. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause my here's what here's what my like they asked me a question. I'm gonna be like, here's my question in return. What's cheaper? Let's do yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, you're not paying for the wedding. The 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 uh the the groom's parents pay for the wedding and the bride's parents usually pay for the reception, correct? I thought the bride uh, I don't I know. No I, I, I think that's only like in the past. I think nowadays they like kinda split it. Wow. Well. But I, I also still I don't like other people spending money, so I'm gonna be like, hey, just do whatever cheapest. Sure. Like that, like, I don't yeah. want to be, the, I don't wanna be like the, I don't want to be like the jerk. No, we're gonna do the most expensive thing ever. I just thought about myself and how I act around people trying to give me money and spend money on me. Yeah, that wouldn't work well. I'd be like, I don't. Uh, can we just get some like? Can we just cater with Chick Fil A or something? That would actually be lit. That would be awesome. I think I would if if Chris if. When that happens, I need you to, like, you make one decision, and it's that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I need I need it written in contract. Um, I wouldn't count on it. Also, um, I think, like, unless you guys have got other topics, I think we're going to go, like, we're, we're at a good time. Like, we've been going over the hour mark, and this time we're going to end a little bit before the hour mark, if that's cool with y'all. That's fine. Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, sorry we were short of mic, but it sounded good. I don't think there's any part where like Lucas moved and it made like an earthquake sound. So that's a plus. <laughs> Dang it, Lucas! <laughs> I knew as soon as I said that you were gonna do it. Also, because it's it's kind of funny. Um, but um, uh, at some point in the future, stop it, Lucas. I know you said you're going to do it twice, but stop there you it. go. That was my second time. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know, we're going to do. I guess we'll do a Captain Marvel review in the future. We usually do two weeks after it comes out, to where we avoid spoiling it for people. Um, sorry if you were spoiled in the first like two minutes. Get over it because it didn't. It doesn't ruin the mo- the movie. Um, but yeah. Hey, please like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends because um, we need your all support. Also, fun fact: we just hit a thousand followers on Podbean. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like a thousand people listening or what. But there are a thousand followers of our podcast on Podbean. So I don't know what that means. But we could not have done it without you all. Um, we very much appreciate that. Um, and if you have topics you want us to talk about, or you have questions about stuff we do, or why we are the way that we are, you can email us. Uh, btstatic.pod at gmail.com or you can tweet at us at btstatic on Twitter Um, and then also stay tuned for um, we usually do promos of our different podcasts on our podcast network crossplay compatible podcast network so go check out um, be sure to check out the the promo at the end also check out that podcast because they're amazing people I love everybody that's in that uh, podcast network because they're fun 
We actually will be on one. I got to schedule that with you guys after this episode, but we're going to be on Real Dudes Podcast at some point in March. I don't know, but uh, they're cool guys. Go check them out. Um, But yeah, hopefully this episode has been better than static. Um, We will catch you guys next week. Bye. If you like video games, debates, and silly banter, you'll love Gamerhead's podcast. Outside of your store, because I do feel like your store knows its identity. I do. I think that you guys know what um, you are. No? Not always. Really? He sells fidget spinners. Well, not anymore. I mean, for a yeah, while. But not I mean, anymore. Not, not You're experimenting not, not with anymore. Our... That's what I'm saying, though. You were just experimenting. <laughs> Golf was made by a Japanese guy. Yeah. Yeah. Go Iwata. Yeah. Begin oh, it. the game. Yeah, not the okay. sport. Yeah. Okay, I was yeah. like, huh. Well, speaking of Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Follow Gamerheads on Podbean at gamerheadspodcast.podbean.com.